to another video with Karen Zima. Today we're going to work on a landscape. This one wasn't that hard to create at all. Nothing sketched out, two hours, you can create one of your own. Beautiful colors, beautiful peaceful scene that will look good in anybody's own. And if you want to paint it as a gift for somebody that loves fall, loves streams, loves fishing, loves anything with the outdoors, it would make a great gift for Christmas. So, I'll show you how to create this if you want to. Stay tuned. I'll show you all my tips and tricks. Because if I can do it, you can do it. Stay tuned. I'm going to switch back to a landscape. I like to do animals, landscapes, uh, people, portraits, sometimes cityscapes, but they're pretty hard to actually make a video of. But I will make one one of these days for you guys. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to work on a very easy landscape. And it's going to be a fall landscape, because today is the first day of fall. So I figure pretty appropriate. As much as I love summer, fall's here. Nothing we can do about it. So enjoy the foliage and paint a fall scene. It's going to be an easy landscape, I promise you. I have nothing sketched out. So you can follow along to this one. Um, some of them are a little more difficult, so I do sketch in, you know, some things. But this one, I'm just going to go from scratch, willy-nilly. It's going to be a fall landscape. It's going to be very pretty. There's going to be water and trees and a little bit of sky. Uh, some rocks in the water to give it interest and some sparkle in the water. So all those things will make a wonderful fall landscape. All right, guys. Now... Some of the colors that I put out to start this project with, very fall-like colors. We have the black and the white. I always put them in the center. Uh, let's see, we have a pathalo blue. There's like a Christmas green. A um, little bit more blue in that green. This one is sort of like a camouflage or camping green. Then we have bright red and a bright orange, cadmium yellow, and some like kiwi colored green. Very pretty palette. We're going to put that all there. Now, what we're going to start out with, we're going to take some white. And I'm going to mix some blue in with it. Get a very light, pretty blue. And we're going to just start putting some of that all along the top. And remember, skies get darker. I mean, they're darker at the top and they get lighter as you go down. That's just a basic rule of sky. And we're only going to go down so far because there's going to be trees in here. The trees are going to be over here. And we're going to have water. So, let's see how far down do I go. Well, it doesn't really matter how far down because um, we're going to bring the trees up into this. So some of it will be showing through. And the trees are going to be green. That's why I want to go light. I want to go light with this. Just go ahead and so the trees pop. And if it was like a dark blue and you have dark green trees, this will look messy. So, go ahead and make sort of a light, either light blue or light gray, both will work. And go down just about here with this side. Now maybe we want to put a little more over in here just in case some is peeking through the trees. And this shouldn't take long at all to, to paint one of these. And the more you practice, just the faster you get at it. And let's go a little bit lighter right around here. A 
blend it out. There we go, nice and blended. Now I am going to put a couple marks where I want things, like the waterline is going to be, let's say, let's make the water. Uh, I think I want it to come at an angle to the, maybe from here to here, like just enough of an angle to give it interest. So something like that. And then we're going to have maybe some big old rocks, like a rock here. Maybe some land with the rocks here. This is going to be reflecting. Bring it up a little. Let's go up a little higher. Maybe something like this. That is where our water is going to be. Alright, now I'm going to get like a blue green. some of the sky showing through it.
very pretty. Now, right about here, we have a bright yellow. We're using Arcadia. Those colors dance right off your brush. Not that hard. All right, let's take some palm green.
more dark tones because I do want to pull rocks out of the water. And in order to do that, I need to have some darker tones that can be the rock color. bring down some of the reflections, the oranges and the reds and the yellows into the water. And we're going to do that in kind of a chunky, chunky fashion. Alright, so let's start by the reds would be over here. with a lot of the tones in here. I think I want to tone down some of these rocks a little bit darker. It might be just too many of them. happy with it. I like the way the water's flowing. I like the way some of the rocks look like they're submerged and reflecting under under the colorful water. I love all the colors in it. So I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And please, please, please leave a comment. I love reading your comments. And if you really, really liked it, share it so somebody else can enjoy it. That helps me out a lot. So, till next time, keep on practicing. Bye-bye.